everyone, Martina Nelson here from Pioneer Livestock Specialists in Ontario. The sun's out, things are growing, so our alfalfa harvest will be here uh, before we know it. So today I want to talk about different options of inoculant that Pioneer has for our haylages this year. Before using an inoculant, we really want to ensure that our, our bunk management or tower or silo is really well done. And with that, what we create is a nice environment that's anaerobic, that, that means there's no air in that system, and that's where our inoculant will work. Our inoculants will wa not work on dry hay, so we need an environment that has limited oxygen. I often get the question, can we do baleage? Can we inoculate baleage? And the answer is, as long as we're making an environment with limited air, so putting lots of plastic around, having nice tight bales, then yes, an inoculant will work in that situation. For haylages, we have two different categories of inoculant, depending on what crop it's being used for. So if your stand is mostly alfalfa, so visually 80% or more, we have two products available. Uh, the first one would be 11H50. It's used to help speed up that fermentation, and in turn, it can significantly reduce the protein degradation. As protein degrades in storage, it turns into ammonia nitrogen, which is a less valuable nitrogen source. The second option for alfalfa stands is 11AFT. And this product will do three things. It's gonna help ferment the alfalfa faster, so we're preserving more sugars and degrading less protein. It's gonna prevent heating, but it's also gonna make the fiber more digestible. If our stands have more than 20% grass or other cereals, we wanna be using our grass or cereal product, which would be 11G22 or 11GFT. Our 11G22, what it'll do is it's gonna help ferment that crop, but it's also gonna keep our feed cool. And it has our new Rapid React formulation. So it's a new Buchneri that we find can keep the feed stable within seven days after inoculating it. So that's a great advantage that this product has. The second option for our grass or cereal stands is our 11GFT. And this is similar to our 11AFT. It's gonna help ferment the product, it's gonna help keep it cool, but it's also gonna make that fiber more digestible, having the ability to lower our feed costs by reducing the need for bypass protein supplementation. Some of the best opportunities for these fiber technology products, again, that's our 11AFT and our 11GFT, is on first cut when we have a delayed harvest. So if the weather has gotten away on us and our alfalfa is past that 10% bud stage or our grasses are you know, past the boot stage, this is a great opportunity to use this product. Or on second and third cuts, our environment, the growing environment is naturally, it tends to lead to lower digestibility in our, our haylages. So that's another great opportunity for that product. So those are our options for haylage inoculants in our Pioneer lineup. Finding the right product for your right acre is so important to get the best return on your investment. So talk to your local Pioneer sales rep if you have any further questions. Stay safe everyone and happy harvest.